Good morning, Millbank. I hope you are all well. This is year three, second lesson for the summer term. So today we are going to be starting our drawing and the practical task. But first of all, we're going to recap our knowledge from last lesson. So maybe get yourself a piece of paper or if you know the answers, you might say them out loud. So let's begin. So number one. Can you remember what the artist's name was that we started looking at last lesson? Number two, what did he create a painting of that we looked at last time? And number three, can you remember any of those things in that painting? Maybe specific objects that you can recall from looking at the painting last time. Okay, so my first question was, what was our artist called that we learnt about last lesson? And his name was Fernand Leger. Can you repeat that back? Great. Now, number two, I asked you what was in the painting that we looked at last lesson. And the answer was a city. So it might not look like a realistic city that we see every day, but he took different parts and sections of a whole city and put them together in his artwork to create something very exciting. Now, you might want to pause for number three because I asked you, what can you see in the artwork? What individual things can you see? So stop now, pause and have a little look, maybe discuss it or write it. Hi, so it's in this part of the video that I'm going to introduce a practical task. If you can see, my cat Kai has joined me for this part, it's the exciting part. Anyway, you're going to need a piece of paper, a pencil, a sharpener, a rubber and a ruler. I'm going to remind you of that in the video, but maybe stop and pause, get it now, then you can double check if you've got all of the things we need in the video. You're also going to need any images or pictures that you've researched of different things in London. So I said before last lesson, uh, make a mind map. Um, in the task this week, I've said to collect some images if you can, so maybe of different London landmarks, different places in London that you like to visit, maybe some of your favorite places or places near where you live and include those in the drawing task. So have them to hand. Um, you don't have to have a printed out copy. I've used the computer and the online copy as well. Okay, let's go. I'm going to need some paper, a ruler, a pencil, a sharpener and a rubber. Using your ruler, draw six or seven straight lines across your page from one side to the other. In each of those spaces, you're now going to choose images from your London research to draw into the different sections. You might draw part of an image. I've started drawing part of the Pimlico tube sign and now I'm moving on to part of the Big Ben clock face. So what I'm going to do is I enlarge the image. It means I take a section and make it bigger. Now you've got the next two weeks to work on these drawings. So this is your task for week two and week three. Take it a section at a time. Choose some of the parts, maybe shapes you find interesting, pieces of architecture you find interesting, different types of line, and fill each of those spaces over the next two weeks. Okay, Good luck. so I hope you've had lots of fun producing your drawings. Now, what's really important when you're making an artwork is taking a step back and having a little look at what you've produced. So maybe having a little rest, a little break and coming back and looking at your drawing again, you're gonna re review it. So you're gonna look at what you've done really, really well. And then maybe compare it to the images and think, what would you like to improve? So maybe do that now. Um, you could even write that down in some little notes. It's almost like you're marking your own work. And then maybe when you come back to do the task again next week, it means you'll have some notes of where you want to start again. You may even say things I really like are the details I've included on a certain section of your drawing. I really like how the shape looks fantastic on this part of my drawing. But then you might say, 
what could I improve next time? So you're gonna mark your own work and give yourself some of your own feedback. You can even ask your family to help you do this, okay? It's really important, just like you would read your answers in English or maybe do an inverse equation in maths to check that your answer's correct. We can do that in art as well. It's quite often good to come away and come back to it or ask someone else, have a fresh set of eyes on that work. And what could you improve to make your work even better than it already is. Write yourself some notes and when you're ready to come back to your drawing next week, you know you've got something to work on straight away. That might even be, I haven't drawn my favourite landmark or I think that piece is really interesting. I'd like to make sure I include that and do that next time. Okay, so I'll see you next week. If you have any pictures of your drawings, please, please, please send them in. I love seeing what you're getting up to at home. Keep doing all of that hard work. I'm so proud of you, Year 3, and I hope to see you soon.